And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Nate Larson. Good Friday morning. Boy, it was quite a storm system yesterday. That cold front whipped through fairly quickly. In fact, this is a picture of a shelf cloud, which typically forms when you have more of a severe front moving through there, gusty winds, and um, so some more significant precipitation moving in behind it. This picture I grabbed from Facebook. Luke Hansen took this one just outside the Burley area. Yesterday, we had quite a bit of moisture, at least a quarter of an inch of rain. That's a decent storm system. Uh, we saw that much in Pocatello, almost that much in Rexburg as well. Two tenths of an inch in Idaho Falls yesterday. Uh, this morning, or since midnight, not as much moisture out there, although we have some showers moving back into the region right now. Flood advisories are still in effect, again, for much of eastern Idaho, at least in the southeast corner, some of the highland areas there, south central uh, mountain area, as well as we still have the flood warning for the Portneuf River and Bear River area uh, going on. Wind forecast, we're going to have some winds pick up this afternoon as our storm system exits the region, so plan on it being a blustery afternoon. In fact, looking at what we can expect, we'll see 20 to 30 mile per hour winds for some areas. Uh, 25 indicated here Friday at 1:30 for Pocatello, uh, in the 25 mile per hour range for Idaho Falls as well. So definitely hold on to your hats or tack on a few extra layers of hairspray. The winds will die down later on this evening, and we won't have near the winds for tomorrow for Saturday. So temperatures right now: 34 in Pocatello or at the airport as well. 36 in Idaho Falls. We're actually 42 in Rexburg this morning, so not too bad up there. And 37 in Island Park. We're gonna have. Some of those slightly warmer temperatures come down from the north as our winds shift to the north as well this afternoon. So we're getting some wraparound moisture from an area of low pressure that's down near the Four Corner area, uh, near portions of Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado. Again, getting all that moisture coming in from the north. Eventually, it's going to continue to slide further eastward. So we'll see drier air filling behind it, as you can see. A little bit of high pressure building in in place temporarily. We'll have another disturbance slide through on Sunday. But for the most part, today, we'll see some showers lingering this morning. We'll start to see some clearing or some partly sunny skies towards the noon hour and even partly cloudy skies this afternoon. Should be a pretty nice end to your day. Temperatures are also going to still rebound back up into the 50s with uh, the clear skies we are going to see, and then Saturday should be a nice day as well. So looking ahead, what can we expect in your seven-day forecast? A little breezy, as I mentioned, or windy today. Breezy on Sunday into Monday with that next storm system. It's not looking like much for the valley areas. In fact, mainly a higher elevation storm system. Could see a few stray showers out there. But for the most part, high pressure will build in for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week. I don't fall seeing a similar pattern. In fact, 64 on the books for Thursday. Should be a nice fantastic day out there. Teton area seeing some lingering snow flurries this morning. Again, snow levels are rising as temperatures are also rising to about 6,000 or even 6,500 feet for some areas. Chance of some rain snow showers for Sunday. Central Mountain seeing mainly rain showers for Sunday into Monday night again as well with just a high of 46 on Monday.